Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with another very important concept of uh, JE Advanced Physics. And as you can see, decoding the motion of a sliding rope on a hemisphere. So this is the diagram uh, related to this problems. So let's uh, discuss this question. It's a very important question concept wise. Let's uh, go ahead. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. A uniform chain of mass m0 is placed on a smooth fixed sphere of radius r as shown in the figure. Analyze the motion of the chain and evaluate the physical quantities given below. Number 1 is the acceleration of chain just after release. Number 2 the tension present in the chain just after release as a function of angle theta here. And third is the potential energy of the, of the chain at the initial instant assuming the reference for potential energy at the base of the sphere. So it's a very regular question of uh, JE Advanced uh, Physics. Normally this question will be there in uh, almost all books, but I have modified it. Normally this question will be in different different parts in objective questions and uh, the rope will not be present both sides. Normally this question will be where rope will be present or chain will be present only at this symmetrical line and one side of it. So I slightly modified this uh, part and these three questions will be separately uh, given. So I have combined all of them together and uh, let's discuss how exactly this uh, chain will uh, behave during the motion just after its uh, release. So first part we are going to discuss here and uh, you know <clears throat> that is the acceleration here. One thing which you have to remember is that is the tension at the free end of the rod will always be zero. That is the concept which we are going to use and logically also it is correct as there will not be any mass present at the end of uh, uh, the rope or chain. So that's the reason tension is going to be zero. So here is the first part for acceleration. So for my convenience, I'm defining this uh, linear mass density of uh, this chain since it is uniform. I can write it as uh, total mass divided by total length. Total length is going to be R times alpha plus beta. So hereafter linear mass density I'm going to use as lambda and in the final expression I'm going to substitute the values. And another assumption which I'm taking here is let's assume beta is greater than alpha. This angle is more than this angle I'm assuming. All right. So in order to analyze the motion of this, we are going to take a very small particle at an angle of theta and its uh, general angle is d theta it is subtending at center and its mass I am calling as a dm its uh, small mass is dm so tension at uh, theta is uh, t which is acting like this and tension at uh, theta plus d theta is t plus dt so th we are trying to form a differential equation related to the motion of it all right so i can write this dm mass as lambda into length of this element which is rd theta so as you can see here i have uh, written here now i'm trying to draw the fbd on this differential dm mass so along the tangent t plus dt and other side it will be t normal reaction from the hemisphere and its weight dmg all right so now just after release it will start moving along the tangent to the sphere so i'm taking motion along the tangent here and i'm trying to write all the forces along the tangent so this is going to be t plus dt minus t plus dmg sine theta and that should give the acceleration of a naught to this small mass so i'm writing it as dm into a naught all right so this t and t gets cancelled I'm going to get dt plus dmg sine theta is equal to dm into a naught. So when I integrate it from uh, minus alpha to plus beta, you can see tension at both the ends is going to be zero here. So this dt term is going to become zero. Limit of this goes from minus alpha to plus beta. And here since uh, a naught is a constant, dm I'm substituting, I'm not substituting in terms of lambda just for uh, saving some time for my calculations. I'm substituting limit on mass directly and that is 0 to m0. When I simplify this, I'm going to get this a0 as g cos alpha minus cos beta divided by alpha plus beta. This is going to be the answer of first part for us. Let's move to the second part. <clears throat> for second part, we will go back to the same equation which we have written along the tangent earlier, which I have written here. You can see. You can see here motion along the tangent 
Now in this equation, I know the value of a naught, which I have calculated in the previous part. So this time I'm taking uh, this limit from minus alpha to general angle theta. So when angle is minus alpha, then tension was zero. And here tension uh, at theta is T theta I'm writing other side also lambda r a naught and minus alpha to plus theta. When I simplify this, I'm going to get uh, T theta as a function of uh, theta here. And in this function, if you substitute uh, theta equal to beta tension should be zero. Let's check this will become cos beta minus cos alpha. This will become one and this will become cos alpha minus cos beta we will get cancelled. This is zero. So we are right. And another part, let's check uh, alpha theta is equal to minus alpha. Also, if you are going to substitute here, it should give us zero. So this term is going to give zero, us, zero to us and theta is minus alpha. So this term also will give zero. So we our answer is right here. This is the answer for the second part. <clears throat> Let's move to the next part for the potential energy of the chain. So here I'm writing this gravitational potential energy as dmgh, where h is the height from the reference point for that differential element, which I, the, that height is given as r cos theta. The dm value is lambda r d theta. So when I rearrange these terms, I'll be getting lambda r g r square cos theta d theta. For the entire chain, if I have to calculate this uh, potential energy, I'm going to substitute the limit again from minus alpha to plus beta. All right. When I simplify this, I'm going to get this value as lambda g r square sin alpha plus sin beta. Then I'm substituting the value of lambda from the previous uh, equations. Then finally, I'm going to get this potential energy as m naught g r by alpha plus beta sine of alpha plus beta. So this is the answer for third part. And uh, that's it in this question. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and you have learned about uh, the behavior of this chain when it is sliding on a surface. However, same analysis we can do for uh, a paraboloid or uh, some other type of surfaces also, which I will bring in uh, future videos. But the concept part here, the important part here, which normally students will be neglecting is going to be tension at the free end of the rod is going to be uh, free end of the chain is going to be zero. Please mind it. This is chain. Actually, it is not the rod. Okay. Rope or uh, chain. So it's a misprint here my bad so if you have enjoyed this video please uh, give a thumbs up share it with your uh, friends if you are a teacher please share it among your students and uh, your colleagues and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i will be bringing more such challenges more such uh, nice problems of physics very soon thank you thank you very much